Uh, and I have to say, for what we saw tonight, it's an A+. Plus. Took a long time coming to get here, and we still have a long ways to go. And this is just the test flight. And we are stressing it and testing it in ways that we will not do to a rocket that has a human crew on it. Today we got to witness the world's most powerful rocket take the earth by its edges and shake the wicked out of it. And it was quite a sight. Um, we're going to learn a lot more as we go. We've got four weeks of mission to go. We are just barely starting to scratch the surface of the Artemis program and, and gather data. We've learned um, a few things along the way, mostly that this, is, this system is performing exactly as we intended it to. Um, we've had a few funnies along the way. We had some dropouts in the flight instrumentation on the, um, on the SLS rocket. We've had some funnies in, some, um, um, in the uh, star trackers, and then we had some funnies in some micro switches on the solar array wings but the systems are performing and, and we are pressing outbound toward the moon. Why are we uh, going back? Uh, because our call is we're going out to explore the heavens. Now we're going back to the moon, not just for the sake of going to the moon, but to learn, to live, to develop, to uh, learn how to live on the moon in order to prepare to send humans all the way to Mars.